hello and welcome back you clicked on this video because you want to learn how complicated intro text animations are made this wonderful intro text you can see on the screen and some other ones you watch in movies or in youtube okay on youtube channels this they look complicated to the eyes but i can tell you for a fact they're super easy and i'm going to be showing you how to create text animations like this on CapCut PC. Without wasting much of your time, we are just going to go straight right to it. So I'm going to bring in my first text. So this is the first text. So usually when you import your first text, it's, it's going to have this ratio of one by one, just something similar to this. This is how it's going to look. So you want to come over here and turn that to 16 by 9 and then sorry i have code and i have malaria too so i'm just trying to use the little energy i have to create this video so that you guys can learn a lot from it so if you by any way feel encouraged to send me best wishes or you just want to subscribe like and share not because i am here but because you enjoyed the video then that's good let's get this video to 100k views so as you view this make sure you like share and subscribe okay watch till the end just to support me that's all i ask yes i know i'm sick but i have to create this video for you guys to watch and enjoy and learn how to do this yourself so let's get straight back into the video so now this is the first text as you can see we are trying to do the subscribe now so for this one i'll need to do something else to ensure they are all on straight line, I'll usually just come to text like this, come to text and default text is usually this very first one. So what I want to do with this, let me just click on this, is just to put the dash line as you can see. I'm not really using it for anything special as I'm going to get rid of it at the end. But for now, I just want to have it there because I'm going to be using it. Okay. I just want to make sure it's somewhere here because this is how it's going to be working. So now I'm going to bring in each text. As you see, this is the first text. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to reduce this scaling. Just bring that down a bit. Why well, I'm doing it like that because I'm going to be moving this text out of frame while I spell the word subscribe. I'm going to be moving the text out of frame using keyframe. Keyframe is one tool I'm going to be using a lot on this. So just stick around and watch with me. So for every letter I bring in, I'm going to make sure it's, let's just make this longer. I'm just going to make sure it's keyframed. So always hit on the transform keyframe because we are going to be doing a lot of transforming. Okay, but for this, let's not start here because the first position is going to be out of frame like this. So that's where our first keyframe will be. Okay, and then I'll just bring it on top that line like that. Okay, then I'll just press down my control key button and move my mouse key to the left or sorry to the right just one frame and I'm just going to increase it a bit like that and I can still rotate it a bit as you can see it added a rotational keyframe okay so now move another keyframe while that is rotating we can bring in the next text okay so you see it's appearing here that's not where we want it to be we we'll just move it to the beginning here okay you see it's quite big so we're just going to reduce it to this size okay but before we reduce it to that size i can decide to get it out of frame like that and put in a keyframe get it back in there like so reduce it okay and then move it like that right so you always want to make sure you check what your scale is for this one as you can see this is 34 so you always want to make sure this two is about same 34 
you always want to make sure it depends on what you want but i always advise you to keep it at that right so if i move it again i can now move this to the back like so like that that is it for this one moving another keyframe and then we bring in the b right once again move it to the top and place it there remember as you go along you want to increase this just like this and you want to make sure they are all matching to the end depending on how long you want your animation to be so for this i'm going to take it out again this time i want it to come in from here so i'm going to hit on the transform keyframe just about here and then i'll bring it in reduce the scale to 34 and then i would move it here perfect okay so now i'm just gonna go on and do it for the rest of the amnation and come back and show you what it will look like i don't want this video to be too long for you guys i'm just gonna go and do everything and get back to you so let me pause it and do the rest so we're back and i've arranged the text as you can see it says subscribe so now i'll bring in the now and i'm going to do something creative with the now i'm going to make it look like he's sheeting on the sheet on the letter e okay so let's just make it the length so i'm going to reduce that and i'm going to shrink it like this okay and i'm going to take it out from the frame so just move a little frame forward like that i'm going to bring it in hitting this in the process of hitting that I'm going to shift this E downwards like this. Okay, so not too much like that. And I'll go back to the E again. And I'll make sure to hit this downwards again. While hitting this out again. So I'll just keep doing that till I get okay something like that so you just keep repeating this process till you're satisfied till maybe you wanted to hit completely then maybe the e gets out of the frame like that and then you can bring in the now completely like that okay and then you can bring in the E, which you took out of the frame, back into the frame like so, super fast, and just like that. Okay? So, for this one, you can just decide to, for instance, cut it off. Okay, you can take it out and just cut it off here. Do control B, yeah? Okay? And move that on top of the e like that and then steers that element so you just bring it look like it's passing on top instead of beneath the e. so you have it like that okay all right so just take that down a bit again so we just have it like so yeah this video might be long but i wanted it to be as educative as possible and then I'll just make it have that front back shifting effect, like so. Okay, let's make it have the front back shifting effect, like that. And you can also do the front back sh shifting effect for every other one. But once you're done, you just go back to the beginning and it should play. Okay, it should play like this. Now we don't need this one thing we're seeing here, we don't need any more which is the line so you can just take that out of the equation now we're done with it and if we hit play this is how it's going to look you 
can see how easy it is, not complicated at all. You can group them together and make it faster if you want. And you can just do some other things with it. Not super complicated, it's super easy. I can control A, okay? I selected all and decide to make them a compound clip. Okay, now that I've made all of them compound clip, I can then go and increase the speed. Okay, can increase the speed by this percentage. And if I play it, it's going to look like this. Okay. So that's how it is, not super complicated, super easy to do, and it won't take you a lot of time. And now you can go on export, export it and use it in your work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay blessed.